Good morning. I'm Heather Kovar in for Christina this morning. We're going to say it again. Friday. Friday. Yay. Yes. Even if it's not your typical weekend, even if you don't work the typical work week, Friday still just has mm -hmm. everybody happy. It, it really does. It, 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 like you said, if, if you work different hours, you work over the weekend, you still kind of find time on a Friday to yeah. somehow hook up with friends. The or, mood or is family. always different on a Friday. It, it really is. So let's make it a great day today. One more mild day before a little bit of transition into the weekend. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Only in New York State in the month of October. 87 exit five. Yeah, there we go. That's a nice picture that we want to bring to you. This is a live shot. Not only is the roads dry and traffic light, but you can see the partly cloudy skies making for a very nice start to the day. 787 southbound looks like speeds are right around that 60 mile per hour mark. It is 56 degrees in the city of Albany right now. The winds are calm, so a very nice morning. Maybe a light jacket for some. We're looking at the partly to mostly cloudy conditions depending on where you are across the region. Uh, on average, I think skies will be a mix of clouds and sun as we go through the day. So relatively mild today and relatively calm. Now tomorrow we see a frontal boundary head our way and that front is going to be delivering some cooler if not chilly air to the region by Sunday. 56 there it is in Albany, 55 in Pittsfield. We have upper 50s coming in from North Adams and Bennington. Currently in Glens Falls it is double nickels. As we go through the day we'll say clouds and sun on average. High temperature getting up to around 69 to near 70 degrees. So one more really mild day with winds not too much out of control today. We'll have a look at the changes headed our way this weekend into next week. That is all straight ahead. Ladies, take it away. Thank you. You're ready for it? Let's go. Well, it's been a hot topic for some time now. The possible demise of Albany Fire Department's ladder one. While the mayor says it will save the city money, residents and firefighters say it's putting their safety at risk. Yes, yeah, so in a last ditch effort, firefighters drew up a fresh start of sorts, a new proposal to try and meet the mayor halfway, keeping ladder one while still saving the city money. Here are some of the details of the firefighters plan. Yeah, first, the proposal would reverse the $1 million budget by identifying new revenues that total over $2 million. The firefighters would have to get more voluntary contributions about $750,000 from colleges and universities to help with the fire and emergency services. $300,000 in overtime increases would have to be taken away from the seven city departments. And to do that, five new firefighters would have to be placed into service in order to offset that overtime. Well, happening now, the first nurse to be diagnosed with Ebola after treating a Liberian man infected with the disease in the Dallas hospital, continuing her treatment in Maryland this morning. The video you're looking at is from when Nina Pham arrived last night, the 26-year-old, now in an isolation unit at the National Institute of Health Clinical Center near Washington. Now, before this, officials treated Pham at Texas Health Presbyterian Hospital in Dallas, where they say she was in good condition. Well... As Election Day gets closer, the contests are really heating up. The two candidates who want to represent New York's 19th Congressional District in the U.S. Congress squared off in another debate last night. Republican incumbent Chris Gibson and Democrat Sean Eldridge locked swords on a variety of issues and appeared to agree on almost nothing. When the hot topic of Ebola came up, Eldridge said Republicans are partially to blame for its spreading. You know, the head of the NIH said earlier this week, that if it wasn't for the sequester cuts and budget cuts, we would have a vaccine today for Ebola. But we don't have that today because this Congress has voted to cut again and again their budget. Look, the Washington Post said that this claim that my opponent makes that somehow Republicans are responsible for the lack of funding, the Washington Post gave that four Pinocchios. It's just flatly untrue. And I've been disappointed uh, with uh, what the administration's done to date. The screening started too late. Well, another hot debate in New York happening tonight between Republican Congressman Michael Grimm as he squares off against his Democratic challenger in one of the state's most hotly contested races in a televised debate. Grimm is under federal indictment accused of evading taxes by hiding more than a million dollars in sales and wages while running a small Manhattan restaurant. He has pleaded not guilty. And for all of your election coverage, we've got you covered. Follow all the latest news on the races that matter to you both on air and online at News10.com. November 4th is approaching quickly. Yeah, three weeks away. Here we go. 634, 56 degrees now. Cuomo in the Caribbean. Yeah, it might be a vacation spot, but New York's governor is there strictly for work. We have details about his trip coming up. We're checking out our daily planner, if you will. High of 69 to near 70 today. Now that's still pretty mild. We should be closer to 60 for a high. But if you do want some cooler weather, stick around. 
I'll explain when uh, your storm tracker forecast comes up after this very short break. Well, right now, New York Governor Andrew Cuomo is in the Caribbean for a campaign visit to the Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico. Well, Governor Cuomo said earlier this week that he wanted to visit both places as a sign of respect for the many ties to New York. He's expected to meet with local leaders during his trip. The governor rarely left the state in his first few years as governor, but has recently visited Afghanistan and Israel. He says that if elected to a second term, he's planning a series of international trade trips. Governor Cuomo is expected to return home late tonight. And happening today, more than a thousand athletes and coaches from across the state will participate in the 2014 State Fall Games with the opening ceremonies right here in the Capital Region at the Glens Falls Civic Center. So many competitions, everything from bocce, cross-country running, cycling, equestrian, etc. The State Fall Games are one of the three annual state games and one of more than 4,000 total competitive experiences held each year throughout the state. Opening ceremonies tonight with the parade of athletes following and the light of the Special Olympics cauldron. Coming up on 640 now, let's get over to Steve with traffic and weather on the 10s. And they should have some pretty nice weather for those opening ceremonies tonight. Huh? You, you know, absolutely. I think it's going to be seasonable temperatures. It will be dry, not much in the way of wind. So, yeah, we're, Good. we're looking okay out right. there. Uh, today's going to be our last mile day, ladies. I'll just say that right out oh. of the gate. Because <laughs> some cooler, get it right out there. cooler, if not chilly weather is heading in uh, Saturday night into Sunday. So make sure you remember where you, you pack the... The cold weather gear, I'm not saying you're going to need the parka, but 
Yeah, it's going to be rather chilly. All right, let's get you out the door and on your way this morning. Good morning. We made it to Friday at 640 and change. We're looking at our triple seven camera. How about that for a start to the day? Nice sunrise in progress. We have some clouds mixed with some clear spots, so I think clouds and sun will be a good bet for today's weather. Over to our traffic maps, we're looking at speeds generally between 55 and 60 miles an hour. That's seven westbound. All right, Dunkin Donut storm tracker weather camera atop our studios shows the brightening skies out there. You still have the, the skyline lit up a little bit with the lights there, but otherwise it looks like a quiet, dry start to our day. Now we'll be dry out on the bus stop this morning, uh, dissimilar or unsimilar. I'm not sure, not similar to yesterday. Maybe that's the best way to use the King's English. Clouds and sun in the 50s for the most part. Maybe a light jacket needed. Uh, this afternoon, mild, upper 60s, low 70s, partly sunny skies. And again, on the mild side, get out and enjoy today. Again, clouds and sun across our region, maybe mostly cloudy in some of the higher terrain, but uh, for the most part, we should see our share of sun mixed in with the clouds today. This little spin up this way, that's going to be rotating on in during the day tomorrow, pushing a cold front through our region. Now, there's not a lot of moisture with this system. Some scattered showers are possible but a lot of cold air is going to be coming in behind it. Not cold out there this morning. Latest temps, Loudonville 55, Colony there as well. Scotia at 50. We're looking at Brunswick 56 as well as Troy. Up to the North Country we go. Saranac Lake at an even 50, along with North Creek and Indian Lake. Scroon Lake right now, 54 degrees. Heading over to Glens Falls, 55. Corinth and Moreau and Gansvor. All at that same temperature with Argyle two degrees milder and into the Berkshires general 50s, low 50s Peru to Beckett, Great Barrington into Pittsfield and Lanesboro all in the mid 50s. So again, some clouds around this morning, but they'll scatter out to a mix of clouds and sun as we go through the day. This afternoon into this evening, there may be a stray shower on up to the Adirondacks, but uh, they should be few and far between. On into this evening, generally fair, great weather for all the Friday night football games coming up this evening. A lot of good ones out there with playoff implications. Go out and enjoy it. You'll need a jacket once the sun goes down, but nothing terribly cold. And then by midnight into tomorrow morning, I think we start to see the clouds uh, move back in out ahead of that next cold front headed our way. So today, mild, near 70, clouds and sun on average. Overnight tonight, generally fair skies with a low of 52. Tomorrow, we'll call it a mostly cloudy day, chance of scattered showers. Most of them should be confined north and west of Albany, but I can't rule out all of us having that chance. But the big deal is going to be Saturday night into Sunday when that, that chilly air comes on in. Look at the high for Sunday, 51. Wind chills easily in the 40s. I mean, it, it's going to be a change of air mass, folks. And it looks like it sticks around into next week with maybe a couple of showers here and there. Ladies. All right. Thanks. Well, coming up, a look at this morning's top stories in the weather before you head out the door. Yeah, thank you so much for watching News 10 ABC in the morning. Keep it here. A live look at the traffic cameras this morning. I-87 exit 7, Route 7. See traffic moving just fine. Maybe some flashing lights up there, but doesn't seem to be slowing traffic down at all. We'll keep an eye on it, though, and we'll keep you updated. We'll be right back. You're watching Christina Arangio, Steve Teeling, and Stephanie Grady. This is News 10 ABC in the Morning.
647, now 56 degrees. Time to get a check of your top stories. A fresh start. That's what Albany firefighters offered up to Mayor Kathy Shannon hopes to save ladder one. It's a story we have been following. It's been a contentious issue and the mayor's taken a lot of heat for her plan that would shut down ladder one. And while that would save the city over a million dollars, firefighters and residents in the South End said that put their safety in jeopardy. The new plan would reverse the $1 million budget by identifying new revenues that total over $2 million, plus $300,000 in overtime increases would have to be taken away from seven city departments. And to do that, five new firefighters would have to be placed into service in order to offset that overtime. Albany South End residents probably feeling a little more relieved this morning knowing a suspect in yesterday's broad daylight shooting is in custody. Heavily armed officers lined rooftops and SWAT team members ran through the neighborhood to search for the suspect, emerging hours later with the alleged shooter. The whole ordeal forced the evacuation of Giffen Elementary School and had many residents on edge. Police also haven't said yet, though, if this shooting is gang-related, but across the river in Troy, authorities tell us science is unlock unlocking secrets to gang-related crime throughout the capital region. According to Troy's police chief, recent ballistic reports show the same gun was used in two shooting cases this year, one in his city, the other in Albany. Happening now, the first nurse to be diagnosed with Ebola after treating the Liberian man infected with the disease in a Dallas hospital, continuing her treatment in Maryland. The video you're looking at is from when Nina Fahm arrived last night. The 26-year-old now in an isolation unit at the National Institute of Health Clinical Center near Washington. Before this, officials treated Fahm at Texas Health Presbyterian Hospital in Dallas, where they say she was in good condition. And it is Friday. You jazzed up about the start of the weekend, even though our temperatures are dropping. Well, one local high school is, and also because, well, tonight is their homecoming game. We are at Columbia High School in East Greenbush, where the jazz band and cheerleaders are ending Spirit Week on a high note ahead of tonight's big matchup. So let's get out to News 10 ABC's Jennifer Lee. She's at the home of the Blue Devils right now. Good morning, Jen. Good morning, Nicole and Heather. We're inside Columbia High School. We have a big morning planned out for you guys. We have the cheerleaders, the school mascot. We also have the jazz band and chorus. Right now we have Lauren Hennessy. She is a senior and a cheerleader. Thanks for joining us this morning, Lauren. So let's talk about the season so far. It's your homecoming game, your last game of the football season. What's going through your mind? Um, I'm just really excited and really sad that it's coming to an end, but I hope that we can pull out a win tonight and really just bring it home for us. And talk about this week leading up to homecoming. It's been uh, the spirit week. You guys all have been decked out in different themes. Talk about that. Um, it's been great. It's always a fun time to be able to dress up and look like a fool and not be judged by anyone. It's just, it's, uh, it's awesome. All right, so what do you guys have planned for us this morning? Uh, we are going to do two chants for you. All right, take it away. Let's see it. C and three cheers for Steve Teeling over in the weather department. Are you ready? Are you ready for the weekend and the cooler temperatures? I'm ready for today and the mild temperatures. <laughs> yeah, enjoy today. One day, right? It's not that I don't like fall and winter and everything like that and the temperatures that come with it, but we know we're just going to have an abundance of those, so yeah. that's mm -hmm. why we want to hang on to these last mild days, ladies. No, let's go. <laughs> give me an H, give me an O, give me a T. What's it spell? Hot. N O, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know if it's going to be hot today, but how about a uh, warm or mild? Let's get you out the door, ladies. 87, uh, exit 15. Look at this beautiful start to the day. And the traffic is light as well. We'll certainly take that. Our traffic maps, the big picture here for you folks. Yep, you can cheer about this. A lot of green. We like seeing that, especially on a Friday. All right, taking a look outside from yesterday. These are a couple of pictures that almost look like paintings that were sent in to from some of our loyal viewers the sunset in Shaftesbury this is from Harold Meehan last night that is just gorgeous and 
another spectacular shot from Lanesboro. Uh, Michael Duffy snapped this picture of the sunset last night. There were some incredible cloud formations that were just glistening that sun. Oh, thanks guys for sending those pics in so everyone can enjoy that beauty. All right, today we're going to call it a mixture of clouds and sun on average across our region. What we're looking at for the weekend is this little upper level disturbance that's going to swing through with a cold front during the day on Saturday. A couple of showers with that system, nothing of any consequence, but what's behind that system, uh, yeah, you're going to take notice, especially coming in on Sunday. All right, 69 to near 70 in the greater capital region today, near 60 in Long Lake with upper 60s for Glens Falls, mid 60s in the Cooperstown region, Gloversville at 66, Schaharry at 68, and it looks like upper 60s as well. Manchester, Vermont into Bennington, uh, also upper 60s into Pittsfield. So today, clouds and sun mixed together. Could be a stray shower up to the uh, Adirondacks, but generally dry and quiet locally. Tomorrow morning may start out fair, and then the front is going to come through during the day, giving us a few scattered showers, probably more numerous north of Albany. Then as the system passes by, Saturday night, midnight into Sunday morning, what the heck is that? White? Snow? Well, we're going to call it flurries and snow showers up there, but yeah, that cool air, if not chilly air, is just going to bleed on in during the day on Sunday. It's going to be windy, making it feel even colder. So here's your forecast then for today. 69 to near 70 with a mixture of clouds and sunshine. Overnight tonight, we're looking at generally fair conditions with a low down to 52. For tomorrow, again, not bad temperature-wise. We'll say 64, but scattered showers under mostly cloudy skies. And then on Sunday, yep. That's when the bottom falls out. 51 the high, wind chills in the 40s. Uh, at least we'll see some sunshine with some fair weather clouds. But it stays chilly most of next week in the low to mid 50s and maybe a few showers from time to time. Ladies. Yeah, well, we knew it was coming. Yeah, thank you, Steve. Mm -hmm. well, we'll be right back with the final check of that forecast. And that also it's time for our new Sun ABC word of the day. Our word is Frankenstein this morning. Some of us still feel like that this time of the morning, but... <laughs> Sing it, Steve. He did the mosh. He's good at that. Log into news10rewards.com. Enter the word to play games, earn points and prizes. Frankenstein. Wow. All right, nice today and then change on the way. That's right. Let's take a quick look at that seven day forecast. A uh, mild today, not bad tomorrow, but really getting cool and chilly on Sunday with windy conditions. Now, a uh, brief Friday <laughs> funny we have for you. Okay. Of course, we Why need Why couldn't the skeleton cross the road? I don't know. Why not, Steve? 
He didn't have the guts. <laughs> oh, boy. Or the brains. <laughs> or the heart. <laughs> or the noive, as they say. <laughs> anyway, that's a Friday yeah. funny. Let's make it a great day, and let's all laugh. Let's be kind to everybody out on the roads, everybody you meet, pay it forward. Let's make for a great day today. Sounds like a great idea. Thank Good you advice. so much, Steve. Right, Good Morning America is next. You can also join us over on Fox for more news from 7 to 9. That's Let's right. Have a great morning, a great day. Dedicated, determined, dependable. This is News 10 ABC in the morning on Fox 23. Firefighters in Albany are looking for a fresh start when it comes to budget talks, and we have some ideas that they've presented to save Ladder 1. We'll